are you like clamming up or getting tense whenever you look at your bank account every time? Or are you feeling stressed out every time it's tax season? This is telling you about your relationship or your vibration as it relates to money. The next way that you can actually shift your vibration and increase your money frequency is begin to notice your relationship, your current relationship with money. I tend to find that people who are asking this question or looking at this possibility, they tend to be in one of two camps. One of one is they are obsessive about their money and what their money is doing. So this is you if you are checking your bank account 50 times a day to make sure that nothing goes through that you didn't plan for. You're, you have a budget that is so meticulous. It's like down to the last penny, right? There's a, an over obsession an extreme uh, the words not coming to me but you get what i'm saying <laughs> you have a, an extreme obsession with what your money is doing or not doing on the other extreme is avoidance right so that's the hyper perspective this is the hypo where you are not even looking at what your money is doing. And ultimately we want you to come to a place of harmony about money. So begin paying attention to what are the thoughts and emotions that come up anytime you are interacting with money. Are you like, clamming up or getting tense whenever you look at your bank account every time? Or are you feeling stressed out every time it's tax season? This is telling you about your relationship or your vibration as it relates to money. So the most healing thing that we can do in order to begin resolving this is to tap into, I know a gazillion people have said this, but it's really true, is gratitude. Yes, it's gratitude. It's gratitude for, even though you may not have billions of dollars, being grateful for what you have been able to experience, what you are currently experiencing, even if there are certain challenges that are popping up, especially as it relates to money right now, being able to find gratitude in some small way. So that can look like the next time you, you know, the next time you're stopping at Starbucks and you're able to purchase that, that matcha latte, or you're able to, you know, buy your favorite espresso, literally, taking five seconds before you hand over that card and just being grateful that you are getting that experience. The ability to pay rent. So many of us look at, oh, I have to pay rent. I have to pay my bills. Well, actually you don't have to. That's the truth. You don't, there's, there are other options. Yes, homelessness is one of them. It can be an option, right? So being able to tap into gratitude for, I get to pay my rent this month. Maybe not every month. I Like full transparency, there have been months I was not able to pay my rent. And my rent was $500. And that was a stretch. 
So now when I go to pay my rent, allowing myself to be in gratitude that this is another month I got to have a roof over my head. I get to, I get to have another month with this roof over my head. And I'm grateful for that. It's not just saying thank you, but allowing yourself to tap into the vibration of gratitude again and again and again. This is you walking down the street and seeing a penny on the ground and actually picking that penny up and being in gratitude and utilizing that as evidence that money just shows up all the time. So my next suggestion or tip about how you can increase your vibration and your money frequency is really becoming conscious of how you care for yourself and how you care for those around you. And I personally think that it's the most impactful when you start utilizing this in very small ways. So I have to warn you that most of us have like an all or nothing do or die approach <laughs> about everything. And we're like, like if you, if you've ever done the, oh, I've got a new year's resolution. This is the year I'm going to get fit. And then you schedule that you're going to go work out five days a week, an hour every day when Literally December 25th, <laughs> December 26th, December 27th, December 28th. You weren't even, you were just on the couch. So we go from one extreme to another and then wonder why we crash. I talk a lot about 1% aligned action. 1%. It just needs to be 1% more each day. That's it. For time that collapses and will build momentum. And before you know it, you'll have a, a quantum leap. You'll have a brand new experience of reality that you look back and you're like, how did this even happen? Right? So how you can actually do this is start paying attention to how you allow yourself to feel when you're doing small things for yourself. So it could be something as simple as making yourself a cup of coffee in the morning. Put that cup of coffee on a saucer. <laughs> Just taking two seconds out to put that cup of coffee on a saucer, cup of tea on a saucer, automatically starts elevating the experience. Yes, this is ultimately about self-love <laughs> and really honoring yourself. So I'm gonna invite you to just explore how can you start to pay close attention to the small things that you're doing and, and elevate the vibration of how you are experiencing those things. Another one of my favorites is to practice tapping into different energies in the shower. There's something about the water coming out that allows you to tap into different energies. And I play with, okay, what would it look like to take a shower in the frequency of abundance. Well, if I'm taking a shower in the frequency of abundance, I am not scrimping on the amount of soap that I'm putting <laughs> on my, uh, what's the little scrubby thing? On my loofah, right? I'm intuiting how much I need to use. I am not measuring of like, oh, exactly a quarter size. <laughs> How can I take a shower in the frequency of luxury? Well, in that regard, there's certain scents that I like to use. Right now I'm very into jasmine. For me, that is the frequency of luxury for me. Now, I also don't want to negate that actually learning about money can also shift your vibration about it. So those are some of the energetic components, but also understand that simply understanding a thing, 
understanding how something works can begin to shift your vibration. So if you never actually really understood how money works or how profit and loss works in a business and so on and so forth, actually taking the time to learn those things and to understand them takes all of the mystery out of it. <laughs> Maybe not all the mystery, but it takes a lot of the mystery out of it and will reduce the amount of stress that you have as it relates to money. So that's going to be my next suggestion to you is listening to podcasts, watching YouTube videos, actually learning more about how money works, both the tangible and intangible or the spiritual aspects of money. <laughs>